hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of building with sausage this is mythical sausage here hello what is up how is everybody doing <laughs> man we're gonna be doing a really cool build today today we're actually gonna be building the barn that i have in my single player world i'm gonna show you just how i made it so if you want you can go ahead and plop it in your world and it's gonna make everything look very very cool i promise but <laughs> let's get this started let's flip that high that's the back of my my head let's go the other way so right now, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, checking out these dimensions. It's super, super cool. We have ways in from this to the back end, the front end, we got a side entrances, we got a little section for storage. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's start building. Uh, we're gonna be using these beautiful spruce blocks, all the spruces. We're gonna be bringing in some of the oak stairs, oak slabs, so uh, cobblestone and some regular stone. Uh, but we're also using our boy Jersey Boys pack. So if you guys wanna check out that pack, man, we got some amazing, beautiful textures in here. <laughs> I'm gonna put a link in the description go check it out it's the best vanilla pack in the world uh and look at this we did some path blocks a little while ago a little path and look at that so cool i'm gonna put a link to that last one but here we go let's start this up so just start counting blocks so everywhere you see a log you're gonna put a log all right everything everywhere you see some cobble we're gonna make some cobble and some stone do a little texturing uh so let's start right here right on this corner so let's go uh, bit by bit section by section so let's start right here in this end we're gonna go with a one Are you finished two three four five just do a five right there right next to this one gonna give it a block space of three go up right here in this corner one two three and a four just like that uh on this bottom piece we're gonna go with a mixture of cobble and, a, and stone it could be any any mixture you can do something like that or you mix it up like this it doesn't matter you can put all cobble or whatever materials you guys like it's cool now on this end we're gonna do a little cross beam of that same stripped oak and on the top we actually let me get this out of here let's get some fence and we're gonna get some oak fence let's take out uh, you know what let's just do all cobble for now we'll do a texture after and then we're gonna do a little line of our fence right there lovely then we're gonna grab some spruce planks and put a little line like that look how cool that's awesome so let's do the same thing on this side so let's go right here we're gonna go up by one two three four five we're gonna do the same exact thing so cobble right there you can even mix the stone if you want that's fine <laughs> one two three four we're gonna go up by four right there we're gonna do the same little cross beam we're gonna do the same exact fence and our little layer of plank just like that looking so so good so let's actually do it on this whole section watch this we'll do it together and we'll do it fast as you know what to do so up by four little cobble lining cross beam little row of fence and your little row of plank we're gonna do it again let's do it again one more time so bam one two three four little cross beam little fence post a little bit of plank <laughs> that's awesome now for this one do just do this watch just a row of plank right here just like that it's gonna be a little different take it up the same way right okay let's do a upside down stair here an upside down stair right there grab some trap doors and we're gonna go here and there there and there that is awesome because this is gonna be your little side entrance and i'll show you how we decorate that in a second now for this one we're going back to basics so one two three four we're gonna put that row put that strip put this little bit of fence and our same row of spruce and that is that side look how cool let's repeat now this same look the same thing we saw here let's do it again on this side let's do it faster we're really good at this by now right we have to be good at this by now look at this we're just flying through it i bet you this is how you do it in your world right there look at that uh we're gonna take it up actually one more on each side just like we have there and continue with the same style oh man we're doing it again this is already you guys are man you gotta build the professionals now uh and then we'll grab a little row right there perfect so we have this Oh, hold on. Boop. There we go. <laughs> nice. So we have this end and we have that end. Now, this one, we're going to do the same thing we did on that. We're going to go up again the same way. Cobble the same way. Little thing right there. Little, 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 you know, we're just repeating stuff. There we go. Now, this little extension. Watch this. This one, we're just going to do the same thing. <laughs> we're going to do the same thing. So let's go right here, right there. Drop that. Same row. This one, again, one, two, three, four. This one, we're gonna go four. This one, these two things right here, let's bring it up together by four. We're gonna do what we did right there. Same thing, same concept. We're gonna go down like this. We're gonna go ahead and put up a set down a stairs right here and here, here and here, and put your little trap doors right there and right there. Same thing on the other side here and here. And then we have that set up for a little storage room. I love that, so cool. 
Again, repeating patterns. Let's do it again one more time. So going down like this, cross beam on the bottoms, cross beam there. We're gonna bring in our fence post, the beautiful fence post. I love that fence post. And then we're gonna bring our little row right here and a little row right there. So we have our whole outline set up ready for amazingness. So let's start with the next situation, the next step. What are we gonna do? We might I I'll show you. Watch this. Right here, you're gonna put these trapdoors again. We're gonna run that same thing. We're gonna go up by three though this time because this was a little taller. All right, we're gonna put an upside down stair here, an upside down stair here, right? We're gonna grab this trap door, put it in the center, just like that. We're gonna grab our fence and we're gonna go right on. Oh, hold on, shift click. <laughs> we're gonna put it right there and then we're gonna lift this one more time, just like that. Looking amazing. And then we're gonna cross beam right here. That is the front. Let's actually repeat the same thing on this side. So you saw it once, you could see it again. Watch this. So you got trap door, trap door, trap door. Trap door, trap door, trap door. We're gonna do our lovely little upside down stairs with your trap door in the middle. And we're gonna do this one more time. So let's mirror this. I shift click that one this time, watch. Uh, and then we're gonna run that line like this. So cool, I love it, I love it. Okay, now, before we get to this middle section, eh, let's do uh, a little bit of side roof job. So we're gonna do a little roof that goes this way and one that goes right down this one and we're gonna connect to that side. So let's do this one first. This is the easy one right now. Uh, so let's do this. Let's grab some slabs of our oak, oak slabs, okay? Then we're gonna put our oak slab right here and right there. We're gonna overhang it just a tad. We're gonna take this all the way down, right on that level, all the way down and we're gonna put it right at that side. Look how pretty. Now we're gonna go down and up right here, see it? Look how pretty, very nice, All right, you see it? Okay, now we're gonna go up on every other one double slab till we get to that point right there on that end. Let's do it again on this side, super simple roof. This is an easy one, watch. So you go here, here, up in a little stair pattern, doubling, doubling the slabs. Now, we're gonna do the same thing here, watch. We're gonna go right on this line, take it out by one and do the same thing. So here we go, going straight up in a little pattern, boom, and we're meeting up right there. Look how awesome, how awesome is that? Come on. And uh, now we're gonna take this one, let's take it down this way, boom. We're gonna take it just like that, all right? And now we're gonna go up again, right here, same pattern till we get to dead center, which is right there. We're gonna go right back down with it, keep going till we get to this end, and then this is gonna do the same exact thing right here and then we're just gonna repeat look how easy this is one of the easiest roofs you're ever gonna do and we're meeting right there on that side look how cool we got this now and this little gap you're seeing right here in this little middle part let's just go ahead and get some of these slabbies and we're just gonna lay it down we're just gonna lay it all down right here like so right here like so just like that so a two and a two like this so one two 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 just like that do it again so one, two, two, and one there. We got one, two, and two over here on this side. Look how cool, <laughs> nice. Okay, now let's grab our, uh, our spruce slabs. Now we're gonna run a line of spruce slabs and we're just gonna connect them from one side to the other. See, this one's pretty cool because all we have to do is just go straight down and we're gonna connect to this side. We're gonna do the same thing. So this is gonna go right here. We're gonna connect right to this side. And then this one, we're gonna go ahead and connect right to this one. Look how easy. Look how easy, that's so cool. Now take this one down, we're gonna go all the way down and meet right there. Stop, right there, stop at that end right there. And let's do, the th let's do this one more time. We're gonna do this one super fast because we already know what to do. All you gotta do is connect all the slabs together from one end to the other and it just makes a lovely, lovely little roof pattern. Look at this, connecting right there and then this one goes the other way. Super easy, let's just go all the way down like so perfect <laughs> now let's do this one as well let's go down all the way real fast this was so easy this is easier than the other one because you're really not even doing any twists or turns or nothing uh we're just going one side to the other let's go all the way down like so oh that broke oh that broke that went bad okay we're fine uh so let's do these two together because this is easy it's going all the way down so we get from one point to the other just like this that broke and that's fine. There we go, perfect. So oh, look at that, isn't that amazing? So we have this uh, half roof so far. So let's make something a little cooler. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to do is we're gonna go up from here, okay? From here, we're gonna go up. One, two, three, 
four. And that's it for now. So one, two, three, four, extra four right there. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and put a little row of our cobble again. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some full blocks, full planks of spruce and go one, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna put some fence right here. So there's gonna be a one, two, three high, all right? And then we're gonna go like this and like that. Look how cool is that? Let's repeat this thing again. So let's go on this side. We're gonna go up again, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna grab our cobble. We're gonna grab our planks, go one, two, three. One, two, three, a little fence, one, two, three in here. Drop these little roof patterns right there. Look how awesome, that is so cool, I love that so much. Uh, now, another thing that I wanna do is see this little space between this plank uh, or these double slabs and this one? We need something right here in the middle. What I did was this, let's grab some slab, some, sorry, some stairs, some stairs. And we're gonna go right here, we're gonna go stair, stair, stair. We're gonna go with some uh, slab, slab, slab right there. Look how cool. And then I'm gonna grab some of the, um, the, the trap doors. And we're gonna go right here on this top part, like that. And we're gonna put another little row right here on this side, just like that, to give it this cool little overhang. You like that? I don't know, I think that thing came out pretty cool. Let's do it one more time on this side. So we're gonna go with stair, stair, stair. We're gonna go with slab, slab. We're gonna go with uh, trap doors on top. Trap doors on the bottom. That's it. That's all there is to it, and it gives it a nice little separation, a little, uh, uh, a little breakaway right here from this to that. And it looks cool. It's a better transition than just leaving it completely plain. Uh, so now, next up, we're gonna run the same pattern all over again, but this time we're gonna make it look cooler. Let's go right here so, to have a nice little separation. We're gonna put a, uh, a little sideways log right here, right here on the top, and it's gonna connect from this end to this end. We're also gonna do another one right here. You see, right at this end, we're gonna go all the way down. And that gives it a nice little base for the next part. And this is the next part right now. So we're gonna give it a space of three with cobble. We're gonna give it another log. Space of three, another log. Space of three, another log, and a space of three, and we have that log there. So let's do it again. So one, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom, and one, two, three. And then guess what? We're just gonna repeat patterns now. Let's go up by three more, three more on each side, three more here. We're gonna go with three more there, there, and there. We're gonna take those up. Now we're gonna go with the planks again. We're gonna go one, two, and a three. One, two, and a three. We're gonna go one, two, three on all of these, leaving a space in the middle because we're gonna put a nice little uh, window just like we have here with that fence. So we're gonna go one, two, three on all of these right here, there, there and there, look how cool, very nice. Uh, here, we're just gonna cover this up. So it's just gonna be a two, we're just gonna do a two. Let's cover all these up. Let's also cover all these up just like this. And it's looking very cool, I love that. Let's put fences on all of these right here. And you don't have to use these materials. Again, this is just really for inspiration. If you guys wanna use any material, you wanna change up the wood, you wanna do it out of stones, you wanna do it out of anything, go ahead. Just if anything, use the uh, the outline we have made out right here and just make it your own. You don't have to use fence too. You can put trap doors in there, you can put windows, glass, anything, whatever you want. Uh, so hopefully you guys, may, you know, if anything, just make it your own. Go, go crazy, tweak it up. Uh, so now, next thing we're gonna do is grab our oak stair, and we're gonna go right here, right there, and we're gonna run a line all the way down, just like this, of our oak stair. And don't do it like I do, do it like this. There you go, perfect. <laughs> then we're gonna go like this, we're gonna do it one more time. This is gonna go all the way down, like so. And then once we get here, we're gonna do upside down stairs, and we're gonna do a regular old roof pattern going straight up with upside down stairs, regular stairs, and a little upside down in the middle. Right here on the top, we're gonna put a slab, and that's all there is to it. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side, so let's do it again. So upside downs on both, regular, regular, upside down on both, regular, regular, little upside down, and a slabby slab slab. And then right here, you get it, you know what to do. Spruce all the way down. We're gonna match what we did here, but instead of slabs, we're doing it with stairs. So easy. So we're gonna go all the way down, connect all these things and see if I don't miss. I'm not gonna miss one time, watch this. Look at that, told you, professional building, uh, builder in Minecraft. Let's go all the way down, watch this. Super speed mode, I messed up like three times, but that's fine, it's because I went too fast. Sometimes you just, you just gotta slow down. Uh, so whatever, let's just keep going all the way down. We're gonna go all the way here to the corner. Once we get to here, we're gonna grab this slab and we're just gonna go ahead and run this slab all the way down. And that is easy mode right there. Look at this thing, it's coming out so cool. We got little tweaks, little light touches we're gonna do right now, but I'm gonna show you what we're doing. So, 
next thing you want to do is this end so right here we just want to go ahead and just connect that right there and then the little spots in this end we're just going to fill this all in that's it just for this little empty little spot boom like this now other things we want to do as well is make these doors look a little better uh this is what i do so for this one i close this one off with complete trap doors so just trap doors all over this thing so oh we don't need those uh so right there close that off with trap doors looking awesome this one i'm gonna close one two three one two three i'm gonna t do these all the way up but don't use those for this one we're gonna put a door and this is the spruce door and then we're gonna plop that in like this and actually let's plop it in right on the inside and that is awesome that is awesome you could put two doors if you wanted to maybe even these two so you can get in from both sides well i just use one door but you can use them both if you want there's a little bit of inspiration in it for you uh for these here these are big doors so what i like doing with this one i like coming in here and making them a little bigger so this will go right here so look you see this one kind of overhangs over there and then this one does the same thing so those open really big just like that uh if you think about it uh, this right here, if it were to close, how would it close? So this thing would probably just go bloop and it'll close off on this one. This one will probably close off on this one, leaving the middle open. So on one of these, take it one higher or one extra. So now if you think about this, this is like a double door that closes in and this is a single one that closes here and it closes the three gapper right there. So that is something you could do. Other little things that you could play around with uh, is making it a little bit more varied in, in the, the way it's all set up. So watch this. If you do it like this, you could take some of these out right there. You could take some of those out and you see it's kind of like warped in a little bit like the wood is a little bit messed up so do something like that just to mess with it that's fine play around with it you know you don't have to do it but there's something just if you wanted to play around uh let's see something like this see look at that see how that's a little warped a little messed up you can do the same thing on the other side also you want to mirror it over here on this side if you want them both open you can leave them both open if you want one let's say open and one closed you could just do this you could just do this on one side so let's leave this one closed i think when i first started my series on the single player world i had one closed and then left this one open eventually i opened it all back uh but it, it's it's cool now a little little bit of detail that we're actually missing that we got to add to this build is right in the center i added this cool little tower just to give it a little bit more because when i was finished with this it looks awesome i love the way it came out but i think it just needed just a little bit more uh so right here in the center if you follow this line right here where the strooped log is we're gonna go up to the center and knock that little piece out we're gonna do a little tower this is gonna be really really cool so we're gonna knock down a three by a little three area just like that have it set up and everything we're gonna grab some logs right here on this end we're gonna go up by one two three four so we're gonna go up by four on this one we're gonna go up by four on this one and we're gonna go up by four on that one here we're gonna grab our cobble it's gonna put a cobble one and two right there we're gonna put one and two right there one and two here and one and two right there on this side looking cool i'm gonna grab our fence we're gonna go with a one and a, a two we're gonna go with one and two on all of those so we have that little spot we're also right here actually you know what let's take it up one more and then one more and we're gonna cross beam so one cross beam one cross beam and cross beam so we have this little tiny little tower right there looking very, very cool uh now let's grab our oak and we're gonna put upside down stairs on all the corner pieces just like this we're gonna put slabs of oak right in the little middle gaps right here and also on the corner pieces everywhere we're just gonna go all the way around with the slab so it's giving you this cool little ring around I love that it looks really really cool now on the top here we're gonna do some stuff so let's grab a trap door we're gonna put one here 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 and here we're gonna grab our stair we're gonna put one here 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 there and we're leaving that little middle gap because in the middle we're gonna put a uh just a regular plank right oh, no that, that plank where, where, where will you go plank we don't have a plank we're just gonna do that <laughs> we're just gonna run it up right here just like so and then right on the tippity tippity top right here we're gonna put a little stair facing inwards like that looking cool so we have this look going with it right now so in the middle let's go with let's actually grab a plank hold on <laughs> let's grab a plank we're gonna go up one and two one and two and just close it off we're just gonna close this whole thing off too high giving that little ring around just like that now let's grab a stair again and we're gonna put a stair on whatever front and back ends you have so this is the the front or back front or back right here so we're gonna put 
right here. A stair, a stair, a stair, and a stair. In the middle, we're gonna go with full blocks, just like this, ring it around, just like so, looking very cool. Then we're gonna go up again on all these here, and we're gonna put a stair on top of those right there. In the middle, I'm gonna put a little, uh, just any block, any block there, and we're gonna go up by one and two. We're gonna grab our trap doors and we're gonna ring that around just like this on the top. And then on the very, very top, we're gonna grab a fence, a fence, and an iron bar right on the tippity top. And that is your tower, a little tiny little tower. But now for details, let's go ahead and grab some trap door and we're just gonna give it a little bit of a, some definition. So right around this little spot, wherever we have those upside down stairs, we're gonna put a little a bit of trap door, looking very cool. And that's it, <laughs> that's a little bit of extra detail uh, to add to that little tower top right there. It looks so, so cool, so, so cool. Now another little thing that I did just to break up uh, the, uh, the roof is right on here, I went ahead and I did uh, a trap door on every other one, just like so. Look at awesome. And then I grabbed our slab, uh, which is hiding here somewhere. Are you a slab? Yes. <laughs> and we're gonna put a slab on every other one like so. And that just gives it a little trim underneath. And I love the way that came out. I don't know, I really do like that. So every other one, uh, we went ahead and put a, a slab and every other one of those, we went ahead and grabbed, give me that trap door. And we're gonna put a trap door on every other one like this, just to give it a little lip around that end. That looks so cool though, I love that. And you know what? We're, we're done, we're done. This is the uh, the exterior completely f finished up. And yes, we can go ahead and come in here if you want and just mix in some of the, uh, the smooth stone. You don't have to, I just do it just to break it up a little bit so it's not just all cobble. We could do that, something like so something like so just a little breakup job right here like that here we're fine there we go and boop there we go that's cool now as far as interior uh let me show you little bits of what you could do uh with the inside so here i did a little separation already uh so all we did here is put some beams wherever you see a beam here you add a beam here See, you see a beam here and a beam here. Here's a little uh, a template of how you can do a little separation of these uh, interiors for having little pens. So if you want a specific little pen, uh, like here I left it all open, but here's like a little template of what you could do as far as little pens. So here's one, pretty much just repeating the same pattern that we did here, but lift up this little area just with a double um, of the fence. But you can just fence this in, put a little gate, and that's a little template right there. Upside down stairs, little lovely stuff. You can add little ladders and stuff and to give it more detail you can even add some trap doors on the top just like so just to give it even more detail oh i forgot this one hold on there we go so we have these cool little effects to it nice little arches uh just to give it a little bit of detail just like that and if you want to leave it all open you could if you want to do little uh separations this is how you would do it uh also i uh i separated this wall to the back room so back here so we had this little room but if you want you can completely leave this open do the same little archway kind of entrance that we did and you can have a back end uh to this section it really depends how you guys want it like that you can have a little back entrance and continue this or you can seal it off like i did and have this as like a uh, just a storage area for for all kinds of stuff but yeah let me show you also how would i whoa this is another thing how would you get up here so this is how you get to the top well i closed it off but uh on one of these what i would do uh is i would seal i would do a seal job like see this one right i would seal this uh let's say i would go like this seal this up do a little thing like that uh, I would completely seal this up like so. So one of these is sealed, right? And then I would do pop, I will plop in a ladder going up on one corner and that saves space because you don't want a spiral staircase or anything crazy like that. I'll save one of these as a ladder, go all the way to the top and we have this little end. You can put a little trap door action and then up here, a little bit of detail, a little, a little beam action a little stair action over here you can put some glowstone also on the tippity tops uh here we have this little area so then we won't have glowstone there uh but you could trap door that up you could even glowstone let me show you how you would do the glowstone trick right here so the glowstone would go like so these you close these off you don't need those or you can actually break them but uh you know you could break them and it gives you like a little bit of a illumination from the tippity top that's fine you can break those and then i would just trap door these 
and that is your uh, ceiling for your top floor. So bam, bam, and bam. Look how cool. But really quick, let me show you how this would be implemented in a survival world. And you can see the one I have in my single player. And you can see how I actually incorporated this into my world. But give me a second. Let me show you that little bit and see if you like it. Hold on. All right, so welcome to my single player world. I love this place, this is my favorite. I mean, we're gonna be doing a lot of tutorials from builds from here, so be on the lookout for that. But this right here is my little single player world barn. If you guys have not seen it, man, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check it out, the way we were building this. But here it is, this is in the, in the real world. <laughs> we're gonna be looking around. Let's go inside, let me show you how I do interior on this one. And it's really all up to you and how you guys wanna set it up in your world. So just like I showed you, we did a little section over here. This is for my cows right here. We have the nice little archways going around. I have another little pen over here for our sheepity sheep right there looking awesome so what I did over here you see the ladder we set that up just like we did and then over here uh, we have our little side entrance that you can go in and out from right here's the side entrance look how cool and then on this side what I did I set up like a little section for uh, for all the stores so I got all the meats here we can cook them here in chain not a chain uh, craft a table so we have that all set up right here looking awesome uh, on this end we have a section for the pigs too uh, so we have sections uh, just for everything uh, all around here uh, on the top floor I don't think I have anything here set up yet but uh, soon <laughs> we'll have some stuff I just put some chests nothing crazy uh, oh and I separated these a little different though I kind of like the other one this one looks really cool too uh, but you know what play around use it as inspiration hopefully you guys did enjoy this another thing you could do is later on once you have a little bit more space you do something like this you leave the back door open you see how we have that door all broken up and I have a little penned out area all the way around here just with some uh, random uh, uh, spruce all the way around a little way in and out from here uh, and we have a nice little open pen but there it is that's all there is to it <laughs> man hopefully you guys did enjoy this little tutorial let me know if there's any other builds you want me to do uh let me know if, if you want me to do any more of these single player builds we got some good ones in here man <laughs> but oh that's the inside of my head uh but thank you for watching everybody uh i'll be back very soon with another tutorial and check out the single player world if you guys want to see some cool stuff if you're not already uh checking it out all right okay i, I see you uh i'll see you later okay goodbye. <laughs>